Hey, welcome aboard. How's everybody doing? Okay, I'm I'm not on my streaming character, but I want to get this. I just gotta I just gotta get two more bounties done. Hang on a sec. Alexis, volume six. And you still hear me. Yeah, okay, I can hear what's going on. Yeah, I just I I was gonna get on and stream, but a TV show called uh hang on a sec. came off and I got that boot but uh, I am still getting dead and decrepit decrepit skin <laughs> 
peeling off my foot. A lot of it, I think, is stuff that was like a callus. And since I can't, since I can't really put that much weight on it, it's a... Uh, it's losing its integrity or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I got up to beat the cat's lunch. And, uh, last night wasn't so bad. But the night before and the night before that, I, I, I'm, I don't really know what it, it might have been just because I slept a lot during the day. But, uh, the last two nights, Except for last night, the two nights before that, I guess. Um, I'd fall asleep for a little bit, and i wake up. And then i fall asleep for a little bit, and i wake up. Well, the first day I got up and fed the cats breakfast. Because, you know, some, somewhere between 3.30 and 5 o'clock, they kind of expect their breakfast time isn't until 5. But, uh... get up to go to the bathroom, I would feed them early, because I knew I wasn't going to feel like getting up, you know, 20, 30 minutes later, so I'd feel them, as long as it was after 4.30 or 4 or after 4, I would feed them. So if I got up, let's say, like, 4 or quarter after, went back to what bed, I, I figured there would be a pretty good chance I would not feel like going up and down them stairs again. And, uh... Well, the female cat came and got me around lunchtime, and it was, not, like, any time after 10.30, she didn't come and bug me until about 11.30. And so I got up and fed her, and, uh... Well, I looked to see what I'd be able to watch on the kitchen TV when I got up, and somebody was running that old movie called Safe which... I like it. It's a damn good movie, but it's sad. It's really, really sad. And, uh... And so I did that. Well, then when I got done and I came in here, I'm like, well, I'm gonna put it on in here. And... I got a feeling if I, even if I tried to stream while that was on, Fury. One second. I don't want to go around the room, but if I can... If I can get the light on, I'll get that ceiling fan going. It's getting a little warm in here. So I, I, I finished watching it. it. There's like a niche of movies like that. And sometimes I gotta be in the right mood to want to watch it. But there are ones that I watch up there. On. Like if they're on and there isn't something better on, I will, I will watch it. And uh, American President is another one. The Cutting Edge is another one. Uh, another new one, like that safe, this is newer than Safe Haven, I think. But uh, at least it's new to, newer to me. Like I saw the Safe Haven several years before I saw this one. But that We Bought a Zoo with Scarlett Johansson and Matt Damon in it. That one there I really, really like. Oh my god, I know this is wrong, I know I'm an asshole for enjoying it, but, uh, 
I watched a video over the weekend. Yeah, I got up to 80 Paragons, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. And, uh, but it was this guy, he was tickling his girlfriend, and she farted. Next thing you know, she's real sad. She's outside the front door. You can see the yard in the back. He's handing her a suitcase, and he's shutting the door I'm like, that is just so wrong. I'm sorry, that just... That hit the right, that hit my funny moment. I mean, can't take it with a bug at all. Still day. recharging. Oh my god. Okay, now I could be wrong. Ends up on YouTube, or you know, if you watch it on here, find my Twitter account and uh, and do a shout out, give me a comment on it. And uh, the uh, somebody there, there's two of them now, and like in both cases, to me, I'm gonna call them clickbait, and if I'm wrong, I do apologize. But the first one was advertising the next Iron Man movie. And what they did, I'm just going to call it clickbait because the impression I got was this, this if they just said fan fan favorite or, you know, what if or, or something, you know, then, then it wouldn't have bothered me a bit. I, but uh, what they did My was they made it seem like, well, yeah, this is an actual. Movie. This is a real twi uh, tr uh, trailer Steve by Marvel and Disney, like you and uh, what they did is they you made it where you. they were going to no put Tony Stark through the Tahiti I program, swear. like they did Coulson, and bring it back. And, you know, hey, if they wanted to do that, you know, if Thor got them some fucking free blood, or, you know, I, I'd be all for it, because I, I, I like Robert Downing Jr. as Iron Man, even if he came back as a mentor, you know, he kept making the suits, and then every now and then he'd be like, you know, if, if they wanted to hand it off to Pepper Potts or somebody else to do most of the work, and occasionally have him come in and save the day, kind of like Nick Fury does, hey, I'm, I'm all for that, you know, that, that would be cool. Still recharging. And, uh, and then the other one, and they did, they had... They, they were, I think they took footage from Shanghai, that, that little Ten Rings movie they did. Uh, and, it, I mean, it looked good. I, I'm not saying they have to do it. I, I'll be fine either way. But I'm just saying if they put the same effort into making not that yet. that they did with uh, all the other Marvel, and it's like, hey, that would be a good movie. That would sell money. You know, that, that would sell tickets. That would make money. That would be a good thing. And then the other one was still recharging. God, I think it was Jason Bourne Six or Jason Bourne Five Redemption or, or something like that. And what they did is they took footage from Matt Damon's movies, Jeremy Renner's movies, and the guy who plays James Bond. But again, it was it was another one where they made it look like a real. Need more time.
still recharging. Ready. Either Saturday or Sunday. There, there was one day where I almost screamed and I thought, nah, just take a break. I haven't done my walking yet, but I'll do my walking later. Need more time. It's like that heroes, heroes.com or whatever, where they got the ones that the, the stuff they show in that in the ad or something like the game. And this, this, if I got the right game, it's the same thing. They got these cases where you are out there and you're just gunning stuff down. The zombies are approaching and whatnot. And, uh, not ready. Dick around with once in a while. Well, it's like that Ebony game. Um, it's it's a pretty sophisticated uh, strategy game. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. and it's actually I'm, I'm not gonna knock it. It's actually a pretty good game. But if you are watching, well, again, unless I got the ads, which is entirely possible. But if you're watching the ads, this is not the game you wanted yet. to play. It really is. Still recharging. Need more time. Regular monster drops. And I, I 
could be good. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Need more time. But uh, I'll show you what I mean when I get back here, and, and I don't really care, I just, I need to know how to get the stuff. But like, okay, I got one more. Right now I'm in Act 5, and like, you take the Condurin Rune, the Caladium Nightshade, some of them are named after... So it gives you a hint. The War Tapestry, the Angel Flesh, the, and the West March, that's another one where they kind of give you a hint. Well, I thought you used to get them through drops. And what it is now, you get them through these bounty caches you get from uh, Tyrell. So, you know, and this, I think most people know this. I had to look it up. But if you're playing this and you want those uh, items for the cube because like when you come over here uh, most of what I do is extract legendary special when you're playing in and then what happens is when you extract these things they max them out and you can use one of each so I got the mad monarch scepter I got the pox falls and this one here it's the only one I got right now so I've got it on there I'm hoping to get a better one but if you need, you need one of each, except for the death breath, you need five of those. Now, the death breath you actually get as a drop. I think you get them from the, the legendary or yellow creatures is where they drop. But, so like this West March Holy Water... You will get those when you get the bounty for West March, number five, Act Five. And since I got a couple, I didn't know if I was going to stream today, otherwise I wouldn't put myself in this position. I think I'm at torrent level two. I'm just gonna go. Still recharging. Back to hell, dog. guys are hitting me with multiple skimps. You know, all I'm going to do is get the experience for these guys so I can level up my paragon. And, that, and that's, good. that's a good thing. So when I got them basically dropping the, yeah, the frozen spears and the little uh, lasers, the rotating lasers and that, it's like, yeah, fuck it. I'll just, I'll go and if they catch up to me, I'll work at taking them. I just, and I know I'm being a little overcrushed, I just do not want to lose my uh, hard level or hardcore characters. Fox falls. What happens is I get enough. Uh, I get enough creatures to crowd me. It, it's basically a fart. You let loose this poisonous gas, 
and it affects everybody within a certain range. And uh, then that that mad it's the Mad King scepter, but that mad scepter I got every time I kill like ten or eleven creatures on the eleventh one, it does something like four hundred through four hundred percent of my weapon's damage. Need more time. all the time when they do these uh, seasons, but uh, I get them fairly often. I'm fairly familiar with this Mad Scepter. This is like the second or the third time I've had it. I don't usually, I don't see this one all the time. When I saw that I had that one, I, I just, my eyes lit up. I'm like, well, that, that'll make my make my season playing a hell of a lot better. I'm not, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I've had it on the Xbox since I came over here. This might be one where uh, my main character, I'll think, uh, maybe I'll do that before I leave, uh, leave today. But I need to go get one of my regular characters and get in there and see what's in the cube. I'm not sure this is one that's currently in the cube. I think I, I, think I had it on the plate, but it's been a while. I don't think, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, that that's one I don't remember. You cannot stand before me. I've gotten about five of these double chests. How taste your fear?
development. I can't remember if I streamed after this, but uh, I know like in the last week or so I was talking about some movies I wish that uh, Hollywood would remake. I really do. And uh, one of them was, uh, there were two John Wayne ones in the Meg, and that might have been the only ones I was talking about, I don't know. But one of them was in Harm's Way, and the other one, I think, was Wings of Eagles. Well, the other night I was getting ready to go to sleep, and I wanted something I wanted to watch, but something I didn't care if I fell asleep in. And, uh, what happened was I flipped it over to Pluto. I figured there'd be something on the Paranormal channel on there. Well, Paramount you have has a channel, and a lot of it is older movies, stuff here. that's not new. Well, they had uh, In Harm's Way on there, and I started watching. I was kind of bummed out that uh, I was kind of bummed out that uh, I was kind of bummed out that I, I missed like a half an hour of it. So what I did was I realized it was. Uh, it was on demand, so I, I fired I fired it up and started it over. Well, I, that was at one of the nights where I was falling asleep and then waking up. Well, I fell asleep, and the movie's like three hours long. Like, it went back in the day, the first time I ever saw it, we ordered it on, I ordered it on VHS. And it was one of those ones, my dad was a huge John Wayne fan. He, we never watched this growing up, because it, it wasn't one that was widely, uh, widely shown. It was one of those ones where I don't know if family members died or what, but it was a certain point where they started to open the vault for all these ones that had never been released to video or DVD. But well, when you ordered it on VHS, you got a two-tape thing because they couldn't fit, fit all of it in the two, two and a half hours that's on a normal VHS tape. And... Uh, And so I ended up watching that, and my God, was that. I, again, if you've never seen it, it's on Pluto right now. You just log, you know, get on. You don't have to log in. You don't have to give me any personal information. You can just online get on there, and you have to watch some commercials. But uh, they, they have it on demand. At least they did the other night. Now, maybe it's gone now, but the other night they had it. And uh, I've got chapters 1, 2, and 3 done. I'm working on 4. Most of these, yeah, I can't, this one I can't get until I get to a greater rift level 20. I've been doing 10s, and I almost died a couple times, so I'm not, I'm not going up in any big hurry. Uh, this one here, every time I check, I do not have what is called a rear item. I'm not really sure what they are or where to get them. Um, most of these you got to be on Torment 4 to get them. So what we'll do is I'm going to go get into my streaming character now.
Oh, okay. I don't like that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the my man Mardux. Uh, Probably gonna do the pox fall. That is by far one of my favorites for this. Not enough spirit. Oh, I think that's the one I gotta kill. I must wait to use that ability. Your flaws are revealed. Oh, I gotta do my paragon levels. sitting there with both the characters and I did it over the weekend. I was sitting there with both characters just running through these things and I'm like, I'm not getting I'm not getting the items, I'm not getting the items. Finally I went and looked and they're like, oh you get them in the bounty cache and I'm like, God, I don't remember that. It's possible. I was a little bummed out.
Finisher Strike! I don't have enough spirit. I need spirit. I am returning to town. I cannot afford that. If I'm still feeling like streaming when I get done with this one, I'll uh, I'll restart it at a higher difficulty level. enough spirit. is impossible. That ability is not yet recharged. Everyone is calling me a hero now. If they only knew. No hero does the things that I have. And for what? They think that I have freed them. And I have damned us all. Not enough 
enough spirit. It's one of these where you get like a whirlwind that circles you, I think. And I turned it off because I was getting a bonus for a different It is not ready yet. Well, I need that back. Because it, it builds up to a pretty pretty sizable thing, and as long as you are uh, you've got enemies in it, it it lasts you know indefinitely. It, it, basically, the minute you the minute there's no enemies in it, it's got a counter where it times out. And I think it stacks like three times, and you can actually do a fair amount of damage. I don't have that, enough so. spirit. I need to go back. Oh, and for anybody that's interested, um, Tuesday night they've got uh, a new show beyond Skinwalker. Cause, and this is the thing, and you can believe me or you don't, but uh, I, I'm really a fan of the show. I'm a fan of the people on it, and I don't personally know them, but. From what I can see, the guy who owns it seems like a hell of a nice guy. I mean, he really does. And uh, he uh, he actually responds, and again, I don't expect it. I uh, When I get a thumbs up, uh, it means something. If he, on rare occasions, if he comments on something I put up, I, I'd say I'm about 50-50. Or maybe 60, 40, or 70, 30 for him responding in some way. Not everything, but some stuff. And and it depends. Like, you know, some months are better than others. But I, uh, I had seen interviews with some of the people from the ranch. And one of the things that they had said was... Uh, that they get contacted by people that really think that they should I think this is the one And, you know, and I had seen that, and then, you know, I ended up watching, uh, God, it's another one of these, like, supernatural places, like Frog Ranch or, or something like that. It's it's on National Geographic or the Trap, but it's, it's another one like Skinwalker Ranch. And what happened is I was watching it, and it seemed interesting, but the show was not made nearly as well as Skinwalker Ranch was. And I just made the comment that they should really maybe, you know, he should maybe talk to the History Channel and look at doing another show. And I'm not entirely sure on the format. I, I think there's people that are much wiser than me that should be in charge of those decisions. But I just made the comment that, you know, you guys, you know, it could be something like Sightings or some of these other shows where every episode or maybe three episodes, you know, you look at one place. You know, whether you go to a new place every time or whether you occasionally, like, maybe one season you go one or you go, and as long it. as it takes you to get to some, some answers, you stay there. And I made the comment that, uh... You know, you could basically, you could even do a thing where you go there and you set up your camera equipment, your scientific equipment, and you maybe have some people monitor it, and then you move on, and then, like, every show... Maybe every show you, uh, I need spirits. You you give updates like okay, well this one that we were at, we've got data. You know, 
know, we went in there, we sent up some stuff. Uh, we got we got a couple people there that are reporting on it. Here's the data we're getting. And this is one of those rare occasions where he actually commented. He goes, he goes, we already got something like that in the works. He goes, I'm by the sound of it, he goes, you are going to love it. Well, they just announced it within the last week or two. It's called Beyond Skinwalker. And that will be on, like, and this is probably one of those things where there's going to be a lot of time to come up fall asleep in it. I'm going to have to watch it. I think my brother's already got it set up to record. But, uh, you know, that is, that is something that, uh, that is, that's something that, you know, they're, they're starting. And I had forgotten all about it, but he did. He responded. He's like, well, you know, we, are, we already got something like that in the works. By the sound of it, you're going to love it. And, you know, he just it was really nice. And I forgot about it. And then I'm like, oh, my God. You know, this is the thing he was talking about. I hope it really is good. I really do. See, I grew up watching it. And this is really going to date me. I grew up watching In Search of Blood Hunter I don't know who made it. I used to we used to watch it on PBS. I don't know if PBS made it or if it was one of those things where the donation of people allowed them to to bring it in. But I used to watch that on uh, PBS as a kid, like grade school, junior high, and I, I don't know how long it lasted. It lasted a couple of seasons, and then uh, we didn't have any more sightings. Was another one I really liked, and. Uh, So if it's if it's done good, I am pretty sure. And that was the whole reason I, I mentioned it because it's like, you know, that that one whatever it is, Frog Ranch. And all I can think of is that whoever named that should never be allowed to name it. Skinwalker Ranch sounds cool. Frog Ranch or whatever. Frog Ranch. All I can think of is that really low budget uh, B list or C list movie. Hell comes to Frog. <laughs> That's, that's all I can think of when I when I would hear that. Oh, hell comes the frog town with Rowdy Rowdy Piper. That's another one. Um, it, it's one of those ones that they made it today. Uh, people would probably be up in arms at you know the stuff that's portrayed in it, and uh, and and they're probably right. I'm not I'm not trying to bad mouth anybody. I'm not trying to keep us you know, in the past, but it was, it was a show I really liked, but yeah, it's one of those ones where, yeah, it was probably at least on some level inappropriate. And, uh, I don't have enough spirit. There was a whole bunch of these low budget and I, I have, I must wait to use that ability. Um, Rowdy Roddy Piper, this, this is a guy that was a wrestler. He did a whole bunch of these low budget movies. And I can't remember uh, what came first because he did one called They Live. This fight is over. And that was probably one of the highest budget movies he ever did. And, uh, you know, if you're a MAGA person, you probably view it as a historical documentary or whatever, but okay. But what it is, the, you got these uh, aliens that are on the planet running things, and if you put on these uh, specially made sunglasses, you'll actually be able to, like, everything will be black and white. You see what the aliens are doing, because they have, they have, like, subliminal mes messaging. Like, when you look at money, it says, this is your God. You know, I mean, it, and it's it's... It's so much, and again, there's people on the left too, I, you know. But there, there were, there are people that probably view this as a, a historical documentary of real life. And uh, there's a scene in there where he's got this friend. He had a job. He had the sunglasses, and he didn't know what they did. He found them in a box, and the aliens figured out he could see them. So he got fired from his job, and it was like I, construction or something. Not enough spirit. Well, this one guy came to give him his paycheck for part of a week or whatever it was. And uh, and all he wants to do is give the guy his money. You know, he doesn't want any bullshit. 
the guy kind of flipped out while he was there, you know, to be completely honest. And uh, what happens is he tells the guy, hey, I need you to put these sunglasses on. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be crazy, you know, I just want to take your money and... And uh, <laughs> he looks at the guy and goes, you're going you're gonna to put these glasses on and you're going to start eating that fucking trash can or something or whatever. And the guy like, not today. <laughs> and I think that's the movie where Rowdy Roddy Piper, he goes, I have come here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out Great of bubble gum. Endless tide. But he did, he did all these, I mean, that was probably the highest budget movie he ever did called They Live. Every now and then you can still see it on Encore. It's probably on 2D and 3D and a few other places. And, uh... But it's, it's you know, again, it's if you're a kid, check with your parents, <laughs> make sure they're okay with it. But if you're an adult, it's, it, I don't know, it, it, you're going to get, you know, if you're, if you're a modern person, you might get a little upset, and that's fair enough, and if that's enough reason for you to not want to watch it, you know, hey, fair enough. But uh, if you're not easily offended, you should check it out at least once. Now, hell comes to frog down that. That one there is gonna offend uh, a, a ton more people than what uh, they town. live does. But uh, it's they live. Hell come to frog down. I don't know if that one made cult status. They live definitely like Rocky Horror Picture Show and some other one. That one kind of made cult status. Oh. Okay, a plague of burrows. See, the reason why everyone turned green there and got poisoned is because of those, uh, the, the essence of those fox pulled or whatever that they got on. And then when you see that wave of green come out, that's that Mad King Scepter or whatever it is. little ring of uh, stuff going that's damaging uh, and I think there's a, there's a thing on it that makes it bigger and then after six seconds it it goes away yeah why is the one that gets that going
I don't have enough spirit. That ability is not yet recharged. It is not ready yet. These little bastards. I need spirit. Father just This cannot be opened yet. You know, they give me these little bastards I gotta chase, and then when they get near that chest, it, it won't let me attack them. It wants to open the chest. I wish they'd get their shit together on this game. It, they, they, these things are annoying as shit. to open this I don't want you to fucking open it I want you to kill that little bastard to keep growing into the ground
I should have run into one for the second time where it's already partially... If I didn't absolutely need this to get the bounty, I would have skipped this a long time ago. This cannot be opened yet. See, I got the six. Now I gotta kill one or two more until the fucking boss shows up. It's like the boss should be here now. I'm sorry. I need to go back. Okay, one more. That ability is not yet recharged. I gotta find out what that one on the B button is. It doesn't seem to be working. I, I think I just need to pick a new one. That one, I hit it and nothing happens.
are revealed. Master has been. Soon, demons spawn like you will be gone forever. The eternal conflict may come to an end, but today is not that day. Wait to use that ability. shall perish in flames. Not ready yet. These guys can take. I'm glad I didn't crank up the difficulty on this one. I was thinking about. It. I must wait to use that ability. That ability is not yet recharged. It is not ready yet.
must wait to use that ability. That ability is not yet to be charged. It is not ready yet. I am returning to town. Okay, we got my bomb. The world by finish. I must try this somewhere else. Okay, that one there, I, I hit the help instead of quit. have enough spirit.
Not enough spirit. Break in the endless tide. I don't have enough spirit. Punish herself. She went with guy after guy who beat her, and it finally got bad enough for one of the guys. Uh, it's the guy who played, I think, in that TV show Succession and Life. He also played uh, God, the the main one of the main characters in Band of Brothers. He was the company. He was the company commander, and then he was the. Uh, I think the battalion commander, and uh, I think he either got close to or actually hit the kid, and that's when she realized, okay, I, I gotta go. And she didn't really have a whole lot of time to plan it out. She just knew she had to leave while her car broke down, and she barely had enough money to get to where her father-in-law was. And some of the stuff in that, it, the whole movie was good, but some of the stuff that was in there was funny as shit. Like, there's a scene in there where uh, Lopez is just trying to get by, and uh, the local sheriff is not that bad of a guy. So she starts, and she tells him, she's going to come out with her call of love, and I just need to get through this. She starts fucking him. Uh, she gets a job, she She starts fucking him. Well, the one time he was driving her home, and uh, when she comes home, the daughter she's used to the guys her mom brings I need home. I She doesn't have a real high opinion. She's being kind of rude. Well, she doesn't know the sheriff. He's not a bad guy. And she's a little bit of a bitch. And at a certain point, Robert Redford goes, is there some confusion on how I expect guests in my, uh, you know, at my house to, to be treated? And she made some excuse. Well, you know, it's just some guy my mom brought home and, he goes, am I not making myself clear? I expect everybody, regardless of how you feel about it, to be treated with respect until I decide they don't. And she 
gets real quiet. She's like, yeah, sure. And then he goes, unless it's somebody who's trying to bitch his ass around. There's just no call for that shit. And there, there's another scene in there. They're out in Montana or Wyoming or something like that. It's, it's a pretty rural area. So he was not completely healthy, and Robert Redford's character was pretty fucking drunk when the uh, bear attacked, so he was no help in getting the, the bear off. Something is wrong. Lucky they both didn't die. And, uh, well, he finds out she actually makes pretty good sandwiches, and so that, that's what they were all three of them, she made these sandwiches, and him and Morgan Freeman and the girl were all going to eat together, you know? And just out of the blue, she goes, I had a band teacher who was bisexual or a lesbian or something like that. And they're both looking at her like, uh, okay. And well, you two are gay, right? And there's this initial shot. And then they both start laughing, and Robert Redford goes, "How after working together for four years, I think one of us would have noticed if that were true." have enough spirit.
I don't have enough spirit. Okay, just on the off chance and stuff there, I gotta go clear out that fogged out area. Wait. Law of Lies is the most elusive of the seven evils and is a master of deceit. It is said that he manipulated as well as the revolt against the five evils. This began the burning hell civil war, which ended with the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. I am returning to town.
Okay, it's got to be over there, it looks like. I don't think I'm missing anything. Unless it's right under that shadowy area. I'll be pissed if I gotta come all the way back for that. I'm going to pretty much end the stream. I'm getting kind of... I'm getting kind of out of it. Peace out and I hope everybody has a pretty good day.